we are close to unlocking the logic gates. That's going to be a major step towards the automation. One thing I've realized is that we are lacking behind with the upgrades. To upgrade, we need the logo shapes. We've got plenty of those. Rocket ship shapes, also great. But those purple ones, that's a little problem. So I think that before we unlock the logic gates, there's just enough time to increase the production speed of these purple shapes. Let's take a look how much we deliver. We've got nearly 30 a second of those logo shapes. We're at 15 a second of those rocket ships, but that's fine since we have plenty of those in the bank. Only 16 of those. So let's improve the speed. Let's just follow this line to see where those shapes are being manufactured. That's this line and right here. Now, how can we speed up this process? There's eight stackers right here. So that should be about 16 a second if they're working at their full speed. And this conveyor belt is nearly full, so that's about right. Which means that to increase the production speed of those, we need to double these stackers here. The painters have filled this conveyor belt. That's great. But I think they could be working much faster. Each painter does two items per second times two, because it paints two items. So basically a single painter should be doing four items a second. That means that those four painters should be enough to supply these eight stackers. There's no clogage there because we're lacking in the stars department. So I'm gonna split those two and bring more stars in. We've got enough white paint and about here that's the same issue. We can just speed up the production of these shapes and split these two in half. And again, we've got enough paint here. Almost done, just need to connect these to the hub and reconnect those. And we're only a couple of seconds from unlocking the logic gates. I'm so excited, come on! You don't have to be excited about this, but it's actually super cool. Well, of course it's cool! So we can do AND or XOR and NOT operations. Awesome! And we also got a transistor. What's that? So before we get to the logic, I see that those are not full. So let me fix that quickly. We need more stars here. The stars get there from this location. So again, we need an additional conveyor belt. Right, so we're now getting enough stars to fill all of those painters, which means that here we should have enough white stars. And what are we lacking right now? Nothing, it seems we're all full. So we've increased the production speed of the purple shapes to 33 a second, awesome. Now let's take a look at the logic gates. This is the end gate, which means that in order to output a one, a true, we need both of the input signals to be one. This is an OR gate, so either one of those needs to be one. So if none of them is one, both are zero, then the output is zero. If one is one, then output is one, both one, that's cool. So this is only zero if both of them are zero. This is a NOT gate, so zero turns to one and one turns to zero. And this is an exclusive OR gate. Only one of those needs to be one in order to un output a one. So if both are one, we get a zero. And then we've also got a transistor. So a transistor allows us to throughput a signal, which can be anything, it can be just a signal from a button, or it could even be a color, let's say a blue color, that's the signal. And it only out outputs... what the... what happened? Okay, this is interesting, we've got a disco, uh, since this wire is a 1 and a 0 at the same time. So it's having a seizure. <laughs> okay, let's remove that. Anyways, the transistor outputs the signal only if it's allowed to. So if we got one here, then it throughputs the blue paint. 
If we get a zero, then it doesn't. So it's nothing here, now it's blue here. We can use all these devices in order to create some logic. But to be perfectly honest, I'm actually not sure what to do with this. I've thought about this extensively and I just couldn't figure out how to use this automation. I think it should be used for some clever blueprints, like a universal color mixer. But then again, the only difference would be that I would have to use the constant signal and say which color I want and bring all three colors to the mixer. But what if I only wanted yellow paint? Then there's no point, because I could just bring the two colors and do it manually. I wouldn't have to bring all three of those. Well, I don't know. I, honestly, I would love to hear your suggestions. Like, what should we automate? Ideally, I think we want a reusable blueprint. Now I see the production speed of those shapes, which we no longer need, uh, has slowed down and I have no idea why, actually. So I'm gonna check, just a second. All this is slow because we're not getting enough of those shapes, I see. Why not? All right, that's again because there's only one conveyor belt for eight painters. So if we wanted more of those, we would need to double the conveyor belts right here. No issue. The sad thing is that we no longer need those shapes anyway. I think I'm just gonna merge those two together here and remove the other now useless conveyor belt. So now we freed an input port in the hub and now we need to deliver these shapes in order to unlock the next level. There we need those half squares and this white shape. And that shouldn't be a problem, that seems easy. This is at the bottom, this is at the top, this in the middle and we know we can mine those shapes. I'm gonna use the same shape that I used before and now I realize that I maybe should have kept the second conveyor belt here because I'm gonna need it in just a second. And where am I gonna get those squares? It's funny how here I'm discarding the square bits and making circles and now I need the squares. Oh, here are squares, um, but I need to cut them up anyway. Well, never mind. I think I'm gonna borrow the white paint here and the conveyor belt of those. I could theoretically borrow, borrow just all of that, since we no longer need those shapes. And this part of the factory is no longer operational, I'm sorry. So here we have the squares and now we need to cut them up and create the diagonal sh square shapes. I think it's awesome to use this quad cutter and merge those and those two together, which obviously creates the sides, but I've left just enough space here so that we can rotate these two, which now means we've got the cor correct shapes. Oh, and before we cut it up, we can paint it green so that we paint only fewer shapes. Right, now we need a lot of stacking and I think we can just merge all, all those together which means, oh right, and we need to rotate those shapes. Then it should be correct and then we're gonna have to stack again with those four rotated. So this is, this should be the final shape that we need. Obviously not it at all because I forgot to rotate it like twice but now we should be able to bring it to this conveyor belt and perhaps even put these shapes on the conveyor belt here and stop delivering the compass shapes to the hub since we no longer need them anyway. So let's see whether these shapes have cleared up because we should be getting the correct ones any second. Those are the ones. Hmm, it, it seems that this is clogged up so we can just multiply these. Awesome! Let's do it. So another batch of those. We can simply split them here and then merge them again right here. Now oh, that is much better. And we're gonna do the same here. Now it's all connected. We're getting those shapes. We are rotating those correctly. This conveyor belt is full, which means that this is full as well. Awesome. And we're at 10 a second. Uh, really? No, add there, 16, okay, that's right. Now let's speed up something, I don't know what, maybe 
Uh, no idea. Cutting? Yes, cutting and stacking, that should be fine. I think what I'm gonna do now is really try and think of some way to automate things. And honestly, I would love you to do the same. It just doesn't click for me in my head. My problem is this. I could say, now I want purple paint. And I could say, okay, so I need red paint to get purple. So if you are red paint, constant signal red, then go through, otherwise get discarded. I would then do the exact same thing for uh, blue paint. So if you're blue paint, go through. We've got purple here, that's awesome. This is not automation, right? Because I manually have to drag in the blue paint, the red paint, and I'm not blind, so I don't need a filter which says, yes, that's a red paint, so go through. It could somewhat work if I were to bring in green paint as well. And I could then say, if you are green, then get discarded, right? And what I would honestly need is some are you a blue or red stuff. And I don't think this can be achieved via the new gates, right? Because the thing is that red, I believe, is true. So if I were to input red and let's say blue and connect it, we've got one, that's just one. Red and blue is one. So I think it's pointless. And I just can't really see any way this would be useful. For the transistor, we could use the transistor and say, only let the paint through if it's red or green or blue or whatever. But that again wouldn't work. I'm gonna sleep on it and maybe next time we can figure it out a little better.